So we got uh, La Seraphim, Unforgiving, featuring Niles Rogers. With the S, for real. Yeah, bro, I'm ready to check it out. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Nice little upgrade. Yo, that drone flyer is official. I like kind of how it feels like it's kind of like a warping in a sense. Now that's kind of fire right there. Dang, that's nice. That's that fire moment we saw. We gonna keep keep breaking rules, gonna keep unforgiving yourself. I'm splitting him up, she never took your money down But I ride. Watch me now. Now, now, now. Oh, that's fire. It actually said I'm forgiven on the tip. Dang, this camera worked. Mm, Sephiroth. <laughs> okay, it's just mm. that easy. I'm forgiven, I'm a villain, I'm a, I'm forgiven, I can get it, got that. I'm forgiven, I'm a villain, I'm a, I'm forgiven, I'm a villain, Why, oh, why, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is she Yo, looking like that? Nah, nah, nah. My mans. Do you see my mans in the I was, elevator? I was too looking, looking, the girl, the lady on the left looked like she was disgusted. Like, get well, out the, my way. Because the guy on the guy on the right looked like he was trying to look under her dress. Oh. oh I wasn't paying attention yeah. to all that. Giving, giving, giving. Oh, he do all oh, that. <laughs> like, he just. Whoa. Right. Get steady. Let's get steady. Meet a group and take it down Those are the worst. Man, they got a whole crowd out there. The colorful wigs, too. Unforgiving girls, y'all. Okay. The little western sound that's in there. <laughs> the fact that they just threw that in there. That's hard. Yeah, look, man. This is the fact that uh, La Seraphim, like, it seems like the label is like, all right, every single time we come back, we're going to put y'all 
in a bigger, more kind of like grandioso situation. And they always step up to the plate. They never seem like they're overwhelmed. Yeah. Everybody seems like they're getting a lot more comfortable in an idle lifestyle. You know what I mean? Because initially we saw the world is my oyster and we got to see some of the hard times and some of the depressions and stuff like that some of the girls went through. And here, it just looked like everybody was on 10 with confidence. You know, the hobby picnic, we saw some of that as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, shout out. yeah they, they are just getting more and more confident as they put records out. And, and I love to see it. I love the fact that they didn't seem like this moment was above them. All the extra branding on everything made them seem like a huge, huge deal. Like their name on a the helicopter, their name on a the sword, the name on the tip of the arrow. Mm. Shout, shout out to the CGI on the wing pieces floating down from where the wing got ripped off. That was dope. And I think the song was dope as well. Uh, shout out to Niles Rodgers on that guitar riff. That that was yeah, really that was dope amazing. as well. And uh, it would have been cool if you could have been in a video too. That would have been dope. But yeah, man, this is, the, this is dope. I enjoyed it. Shout out to La Seraphim. My bad. La Seraphim. La <laughs> Seraphim. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I thought the video was really, really dope uh, just for the, you know, just like, they was pointing to how they just getting grander every time the video's going on and on. I feel like I'm gonna have to listen to the song a few more times uh. Uh, to get into it. Um, I do like what the song presents. I just don't know if I immediately love the record. I don't think it's bad. I just gonna have to listen to it like you know without the pauses and everything out. That that first pause is just kind of distracting to me. But um, I think it's it's good. I don't know if it'll be my favorite because, you know, um, there's been a lot of the Seraphim records that have caught on to me now. So maybe this is just going to be another one of those records that's going to have to build on me. But I thought it was good. Well, I'm glad you said that, Ace, because uh, I didn't want to be the odd man out. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I was like, man, I really wanted to like it immediately. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely going to be a grower. And I, I'm confident that it will grow on me. It just didn't really hit me. The beat was the beat's amazing, but it's something about everything else that just didn't really do it for me right now. Maybe seeing some live performances, maybe seeing some other, you know, seeing this in another, you know, atmosphere maybe will help out. But right now, seeing it with the video, it didn't really grab me like it should have. I think the, the um, what was it, Niles? Um, Rogers. Rogers. I think he's, it sounded amazing. Like, you know, you can appreciate some of the subtle things they did with the beat. Um, but I feel like I caught more of it at the very end when nobody was singing on it, you know? So I agree. I really appreciate the beat. I kind of wanted to hear more of it. The video was cool as well, but it didn't really grab me, I feel like, like it should have. This was supposed to be like a record that's supposed to like, you know, they're supposed to put their foot on the neck of, you know, all the other artists, like we're here type of vibes. It didn't give me that immediately, um, but it, it will grow on me, I'm sure. I do want to point out, I do like the hook though. I like the the how how they like started and just go into it. I think that was real strong. So that got me into it more. But yeah, I, I really like the hook. Mm -hmm. 